Welcome back, champs, to another episode of The Ranting Redhead. I am Aiden, and today I'm joined by my dear friend Trig Scott. You might recognize him from the radio and on Hinge. He has been in, I want to say, six of, including this one, maybe six appearances on my YouTube channel. Yeah, I've been, uh, had quite a few cameos on there. You're in the Tarantino tribute. Mm-hmm. You're in uh, the recycling video. My autobiography where you played Kurt Russell. Yep, The Discovery. The Discovery, the short film, and this. Yeah. Yeah, what goes on, Trig? Oh, just the usual stuff. It's a it's a Sunday as we record this. It's Father's Day, and we had obviously Woo! nothing better to do, so. <laughs> yeah, I went to brunch, and I was like, eh, you know. I, I will say, I, as, I can't take compliments very well, mm. but... Like, my grandfather was there, and he goes, this is the best Father's Day ever. And I was like, oh, that's nice. <laughs> <laughs> but, as I do with all my guests, yesterday I recorded one about 22 hours ago, and I had a disgusting Lake George IPA beer. It was awful. Oh, really? So, I'm very glad, even though I want to be an alcoholic, I want to keep the family tradition <laughs> alive, I... You decided on a cherry Coca-Cola. Yeah, I don't know why that was what came to mind. But... Hey, you know what? I'm all right with it. Let's open it up and have a drink, champ. All right. All right, what should we drink to? Uh, <laughs> being single. L'chaim. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> I haven't had, I have not had a cherry cola in a long Me time. Me either. I don't drink soda that much. But... Yeah, I don't, I don't drink it as much anymore either, but for some reason that's what... Uh came to mind and just to let you know we are recording in trig's apartment so if you hear a, a vent that's just because it's you know it's not my studio it's getting fixed up yeah the room tone in this place is pretty rough but it's all it's all right it's all it's all good listen we're gonna we're gonna put out some good content to where you don't even care yeah it's gonna be so good it's you just don't even hear it you don't even care yeah all right and just like i did yesterday trig you prepared something to talk about without telling me in advance, and I'm very I excited. I, I have a, I have a feeling. I know the. Yeah, area. I think you probably know where this is headed. Uh, well, uh, well, do you want to do you want to talk about your YouTube channel for a sec? If yeah, you like? yeah. So, so you know, obviously, with your show being called the Ranting Redhead, I had, I had, I'm not a redhead, but I had to choose a topic that I could at least rant about at length, mm-hmm. uh, pretty efficiently. So, on my YouTube channel, Trig Scott, what I've been doing for the last. Three months, every week, is a video where I report some things that I have seen while on the popular dating app, Hinge. Uh, I've, I've been on it for three months, and I decided this is ridiculous. Like, there's so much insane shit on this app that I, I, need, to, I need to do something to yeah. spread the word about this. <laughs> to spread the so, unlove? Yeah, exactly. So I started doing it on my radio show. Every week I would do this segment where I just reported some of my favorite... Some of them were like genuinely funny things. Others it was like just absolutely ridiculous that a person would put this kind of thing on their profile. Helen Keller? Oh, yes, exactly. That's the thing is there's no like... You see so many of the same things on different pro like that. The yeah, Helen Keller thing is a meme that started on TikTok. I found out. Well, you and but, I had no idea right. that was even a thing. But it's on so many different profiles. People mm-hmm. just like I, I don't know what the yeah. To quote a, uh, a dear friend of ours, do you want to guess what I'm about to say? <laughs> is Ready? It... One, two, three. They've, They've been, been desperate, desperate before, before and now they're desperate, desperate for, for more. more. <laughs> there it is. Thanks, Matt. Thanks, Matty V. <laughs> when are you going to be on the show, champ? I'm yeah, you got to get him on. Come on. Come on. Hinge all the way. We tr- <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so dating apps are, uh, are, are pretty bleak. And this is, it's not the first time I've tried. I've done it in the past. But this is, I think, the longest consecutive time that I've spent. On a dating app. Yeah, I, there was a time where I I, I had hopes. Yeah. But now I just kind of <laughs> quickly I just, dash. I just kind of do it for a bit now. Yeah. Like I, I I I still have my hinge, but I just I don't really go on it that much anymore because yeah. just because they start to get repetitive after a while. Yeah, I, I I gave up on the hopes of actually finding something. I I have one match that might still go somewhere but that's after like a dozen others that went exactly nowhere been there so yeah it's 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 very uh it's hit or miss but for some people it's just a lot more miss yeah and we i've said this before and so have you and we're not listen we're not awful people all right look we're white men but we're not awful people okay (laughs) but on on not in person but online on the dating app sphere sphere Women have it so much easier than men. I, I hate to say it, but I really do think it's true. And I, like I said, I'm not saying that in a mean or 
quote unquote incel ish way, but I just it does not in person, but just online. Men are not that picky. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. It's so much easier. Like I, I feel like I don't know. There, there's still I think a lot of stigma around a dating app. So I think that's why maybe as some kind of defense mechanism, a lot of people, a lot of women that I've seen especially, just treat it like a joke. Mm-hmm. And it's like sometimes it's actually humorous, but other times it's just you're you're trying way too hard to to not take this seriously yeah what are like three of the biggest turnoffs that you'll find on hinge um well i think the biggest thing and the reason i started doing the video is because hinge as a dating app tries to present itself as like the one for people seeking serious relationships it's like they they wanted it to be not like tinder for example it's like if tinder went on a second date exactly it's it's literally it's so much exactly like tinder so yeah. definitely one of the biggest things is just if they there's no even degree of attempting to take it seriously just like <laughs> complete ridiculous all the prompts or like i've seen ones where like the photos are, I've seen profiles where there's not a single photo of the person at all. No. And others where it's like, uh, they're all mirror selfies with the phone in front of their face. They're all like group photos with other people. So you have to do detective work trying <laughs> yeah. to figure out which person is actually the profile. That drives me it's, nuts. And I don't want to see, especially if it's the first photo, if it's a girl with another guy. Yeah, that seems... It's, like just, it's, it's just off. It's wrong. It, and there's this is what I always say is that dating apps just feel like a game show yeah. because you're always competing like, even if you don't know it, mm-hmm. every match you make is going to have other messages she's getting at the same time. The price is always too much for them. <laughs> yeah, it's it's <laughs> it's just rough to always feel like... Because I, I don't know, at this point, three months in without a single date, I don't know if I just don't present well on paper. <laughs> like, if, if on a dating profile I'm not the most appealing person, or if it's just not the right thing for me. Do you mind if I if I look at your dating profile right now? No, not at all. I want to I want to judge it. <laughs> I want I want to see. I kind of. I try to go for definitely a comedic approach with mine. Yeah, I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> I definitely didn't. Here's the thing: like I'm like I'm like there because I'm like, hey, you know what? Because listen, my dating profile goes to show that personality is bullshit. <laughs> yeah, I, I I try to take it seriously, but eventually I just gave up. So here I am. Okay. I like how basically, uh, you know, the the video series on my YouTube is called Unhinged, of course, because mm-hmm. I'm on. Hinge. I feel like we're basically creating the unhinged cinematic universe <laughs> by me being on your show. We're doing this combining of the forces. I like the first picture of you at the radio station. Mm-hmm. It shows you in your you know environment that you're having fun. Choose our first date, coffee, walking, slash hiking, or bowling. I added bowling to that specifically after we went bowling and I sucked which, so which bad time? the first time. Okay. I was so bad at bowling that I thought, you know what? If I did this for a first date, it'd probably be good for a laugh. Yeah. Um, I'm glad you specified with this one because one of your prompts is the one thing I'd love to know about you is your favorite kinds of music because see all the time like or it's like things that I love and it just says music. Yeah, or like <laughs> I, I see a lot of uh, I mean, this isn't surprising for the area we live in, but I see a lot of country, country fans. Yeah, a lot of like if you don't like country music, you should not go out with me. There's like, too many girls that are into like pickup trucks and horse cocks. I don't get it. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I mean, why do you hang around a horse that often if you're not looking to get some? Look, they've been desperate before. <laughs> um okay hmm second photo i'm trying to debate because which one is that the christmas tree oh <laughs> um I, I put that in it's it's me in front of a christmas tree with one, with one of my sister's dogs and i put it in just because everyone's like oh you gotta have a dog photo on your profile well it doesn't work with mine but i'll tell you Okay, number one, I don't know if this is on the tree, but do you have antlers on in yes. this photo? Okay. I didn't know if that was an ornament on the tree, but I'm not going to lie. You look like a slightly more, f- just the way your hair is, you look like a slightly more fun Hannibal Lecter from the show. <laughs> <laughs> like you really do. <laughs> I don't know how to take that. I don't know if it's a compliment. Co- okay, I'm just saying, if you look up a picture of Mads Mikkelsen as Hannibal Lecter, oh, yeah, I mean- and you look at this photo, you look like you're having more fun. Look, I don't think you'll eat her on the first date, but, <laughs> well, that could be taken out of context. Jesus. <laughs> I like the second photo. Okay. Um, Although, hold on, I'm just, okay. Only one black and white photo. That's good. Mm-hmm. You don't want the whole thing black and white. This is not. This is not the, a '40s movie. Two years ago, it would have been. Yeah. 
<laughs> Green flags I look for. Easy conversation, a good sense of humor, general kindness. <sighs> the sigh. <laughs> look, Gary, times aren't as simple anymore. <laughs> All right, look. Is there such thing as an easy conversation on a first date? Well, that's that's the thing is, I mean, not just first date, but on a dating app, like conversation, like I, I've literally only had one match that has sent more than anywhere between none to three messages. Mm-hmm. Like only one that has actually engaged in conversation with me at all. And uh, the same thing happened the last time I tried Hinge, which was like a year and a half ago. Mm-hmm. I had one match that was like super engaged in the conversation definitely seemed interested i asked her out she said yes and then i got her phone number so we we managed to migrate off the app mm-hmm. and then she vanished yeah like just complete ghost I get so that. it's it's I, I really do value conversation face to face a lot because I, I i just think i'm not a good texter i don't oh, know I, I understand that i don't have the best texting I also, etiquette I, think. I also i i i refuse to facetime people like I don't mind like if it, if we're doing like a Discord night or something yeah. that's different but I just I I'll, I'll never FaceTime just while well, one-on-one person. I mean, I, I unless pref- it's like a job maybe. But- I prefer it to text, but only in cer- I, f- I feel like it's like I wouldn't do it super early in the relationship. I would say I have to meet the person first before yeah. I FaceTime them. Yeah, I'd have to be like we've been together for a while and we're just like we're apart for a night so we'll just FaceTime like yeah. that kind of thing. Like if if I'm out of town and I want to say hi, we'll FaceTime. Yeah. I'm really torn between this next photo of you. Of you with the coffee mug. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what to think. Because I used to have a photo like this, but my mug was a Tony Soprano mug <laughs> that said even a broken clock is right twice a day. Nice. The um. thing I love about that photo is it's one of the only ones I specifically took for this profile. And when I was putting it together, I sent all my photos to people to be like, which ones of these are the best? Which do you think should go on the profile? everyone loved the coffee mug one I, and i, I, I was like surprised it. by that like it's not a terrible mm-hmm. photo but no. i was like i wasn't expecting so many people to say that was one of the best the only thing i would add to your last prompt possibly um when you put unusual skill unusual skills curating a kick-ass playlist you should put want to guess who oh okay because maybe that could be more engaging with a conversation yeah see i do like to leave my profile is open to like what i do is on hinge you can like a person's photo or you can like one of their prompts yeah so nine times out of ten i always go for the prompt and then i leave a comment to start a conversation right out of the gate to make Mm -hmm. it easy for them to reply to me instead of just like liking a photo with no message and then they match and be like hey what's up Mm -hmm. like "Mm, doesn't feel as right yeah but and i do like your last two photos you got another one in the radio station and i don't know what this background is but i like the way it's framed that was one of the uh, light you have like a bunch of like lights right surrounding you as you're playing a guitar yeah i did that for my photography class i like that photo I think you got a, I think you got a good hinge profile, and I, you I know, that's every, weird to say. Everyone else agreed. Man, but... Like every every person I showed it to, said uh, same. Th- oh my god! I just <laughs> what'd you do? <laughs> I just went to the profiles, and um, hinge does this thing where it says it'll show you a certain person and say we think you're the most compatible. Oh yeah, it's all bullshit. <laughs> and uh, this girl, her first prompt is: Do you agree or disagree that Shrek is the greatest cinematic masterpiece of all time? I think she's referring to Shrek as love, Shrek as life. I mean, Shrek is fine. One of my favorite animated movies for sure. But really, I almost think I've actually seen this profile before because I feel like I've done they, that. They, they repeat profiles. Yeah, I think I did that prompt on my on my series before. Um, hmm. But just like you, you see so many things that you just can't believe a person would be like, <laughs> "This is an acceptable thing to put on." My dating profile. You know, it's my, one of my favorite ones that I just saw because I went back on to, you know, get ready because I, I figured this was going to be something course, we talk about. Yeah. <laughs> so I took a screenshot of this one and I just, I don't know how to respond. Like, I I don't want to laugh, but I feel like she's intending for it to be a laugh, but it's yeah. so messed up. A random fact I love is I don't have a mom. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> This is a zany random fact for you. And I'm just like, well, um, so if this is a Sopranos reference, this is hot. If not, it's <laughs> it's just stupid. I actually have a Sopranos reference right here. I have a prompt written down that's I go crazy for, and she said Tony Soprano. Oh. And like, hey, 
Me too. That's not a bad answer. I but mean, you're not bald. See, show her me. All right. <laughs> <laughs> so this is what this is. This is my a more subtle Sopranos joke, I guess. I won't shut up about ducks are my favorite animal. Dot 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 dot. So I talk about them a lot. And then she has a monkey emoji with hands over her eyes. <laughs> I don't understand the emoji. But if it's a Sopranos reference, yeah. I mean, that's an immediate plus. That's an immediate plus. And my favorite ones are, a random fact I love is gingers are simply the better option. And I reply, bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> I, I mean, where do you stand on this? That redheaded women are zeros or tens? I mean... There are no in-betweens. I, I might be oversimplifying it, but I think this is... I, I, I guess Have I see Have you ever met from. just a five? Uh, I don't, I don't know. I don't know that many redheads. Well, they're trying to make us extinct, Gary. <laughs> so f- feel privileged that you're on a show that's probably going to be, you know, genocided in a few years or oh, something. Wow. This, this is your, your uh, big plan to get canceled in 15 years. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Because my genetics couldn't cancel me enough. Now <laughs> it's social media that has to fuck up my life. This is uh this is this is one of those prompts that I saw this and just like again why just why it's dating me is like having a headache and an erection at the same time. Oh, that's rough. Like why <laughs> why would you describe dating you like that? So, okay, I admit my photos like my photo prompts are not that good. Yeah. I just don't give a fuck. Oh, apparently I have a message. Oh, really? <laughs> It just, I, okay, I don't like this. I, I, I can't stand, I can't stand incorrect grammar. It drives me fucking nuts. Yeah. I don't like getting the hey, why, why, why. Oh, mm, hey. I, yeah, I don't like that. Hold on, let me see what she looks like. No. <laughs> <laughs> you couldn't let it slide. No. All right, like I said, mine... My photos are whatever. Like, I think my best one was one I just took recently because it's like, eh, I was paddle boarding. Mm. So I took that photo. This is good. It's yeah. like, it, you know, it's me and it's me and nature. Yeah. But my prompt is, uh, dating me is ha- is like having food poisoning. Yeah, life sucks when you have, when you look back, you're happy that you missed some days of work. <laughs> um, my therapist would say I owe her money. Proof I have musical talent. I can hum the Seinfeld theme. Nice. And I put one of the other photos that I had to put that photo of me in front of the French Stallone poster. Mm. Because that should be on everybody's dating profile. Of course. I mean, Stallone is a masterpiece. And he is the reason we celebrate the 4th of July. Because his birthday is July 6th. This Ah. country wasn't great until almost 77 years ago. (laughs) (laughs) uh, Another thing that bothers me is when you see... Like, I... I will bet good money that men do not do this, but a lot of women on dating profiles, you'll see they'll just put their Instagram or Snapchat username. Just Um, like I don't do that on Hinge. I think on the Bumble account that I have, I know my Spotify is connected to it, Mm. um, which is probably why I don't get matches. (laughs) Um, And I I don't remember if my Instagram is connected, but it doesn't say my name. Well, you can like connect it, but I'm talking about like this one. Oh, just putting like your Instagram name. Yeah, she's the prompt was I bet you can't, and then she answered, "Add me on Snap," and then she put her Snapchat username, and she'd be right. She she'd be right to bet that because I don't want to. I don't have a Snapchat. I don't either. Like I don't get the appeal of Snapchat. I never did either. Like like, I I said it years ago when we were in high school that. mm -hmm. Uh, I've seen it on a few profiles. People be like, if your primary mode of communication is Snapchat, I don't want to talk to you. I'm like, finally, people are understanding that Snapchat is not like an alternative for, I, I don't know. The only social media I have is Facebook and Instagram. Same. Yeah. That's all. That's all I care about. Cause I just, it, I don't care. I, like Snapchat just to me, it feels t- like too much. I think I yeah. said it to your roommate a while ago. Whenever I get a text from somebody, I also like Snapchat. It's like so immediate, and I don't mm. want to do that. I want to have alone time. <laughs> like I, I said, like if someone texts me immediately and I have my phone, I wait like two minutes at least mm. to respond to make it look like I'm doing something. Right. You have to put up that illusion. <laughs> you have to make it seem like you're interest. You're interesting. Be like, oh, what's up, man? I got a lot of heat on me. I'm busy. <laughs> I have a whole uh, category here of prompts that are just things I don't understand. Uh, a life goal of mine. Elephant snugs. 
Elephant snugs. Is she refer? Is that a cock metaphor? I, I'm gonna I'm gonna Google it live on the show here because I, I I didn't do it before this. I'm gonna see if it's an actual thing. Elephant, Elephant snugs. Is that like snugs. referred to like a plushie or something? What is? The first things that come up are just yes, yeah, stuffed elephants. Oh, that was a guess. Like huh. that's that's like the only thing that comes up, but nothing with that exact phrase. I thought it was like a trunk metaphor <laughs> or something. Uh, I also have I have two that are along the same lines here. I'm weirdly attracted to golden retriever energy. The f- energy? And then another one, dating me is like dating a golden retriever. I don't... Let me look this up. So you're gonna fuck a dog? <laughs> <laughs> is this an actual Wait, term? Wait, so, so can you call her a bitch then? <laughs> oh, it is. Golden retriever energy slang meaning. Uh, I don't get this slang. What, like, what was what was it you said, like, a slang word for charisma was? Riz. Riz? Oh, my God. I did... I don't, I don't even know if I'm going to post it anymore, but I did record a whole video of me, like, ranting about Generation Z slang terms. And uh, I'm that so... was one that inspired the video, because I heard Riz, and I was like, what are you who talking about? Who told us that? Like, someone in our... It was Jolie. Was it? Who is, like, a few years younger than us, so it's not entirely surprising she'd be the more in tune with all the the hip slang these days Listen, as but. pre 9 11 <laughs> children that we are <laughs> we remember a simpler time all right before before snapchat i i guess golden retriever energy is just a person that much like the lovely dog breed itself people with golden retriever energy are the happy-go-lucky type who are simply out there loving life and having a good time wow okay so um, she doesn't want to fuck a dog <laughs> i guess not probably a good thing I, I guess or does she want like a hairy man is that I, I guess she just wants somebody that's like always chipper in a good mood always excitable if, if i had hair i would have <laughs> i would have that golden retriever look <laughs> uh my mantra is drip or drown everybody knows not to drown <laughs> <laughs> And then here's another one. My mantra is Thirsty Thursday, Lazy Sunday. Why? Why? So you take two days off? <laughs> like, what does that mean? Thirsty even. Thursday. Followed by, what was it? Slippery Sunday? Lazy Sunday. Lazy Sunday. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and then another thing is there, there are so many prompts on Hinge that you can choose from to the point that it's like there's too many. Yeah. There are so many different prompts and still you see people choosing a prompt and then just giving it, like this one, right? My biggest date fail. I've never been on a date. Like, first off, why even put that on your dating profile? Like, don't advertise the fact that you, like, it's it's not a problem if you don't have a lot of dating experience, but it's not a selling point either. No. So, like, it's unless you're a very creepy man. Right. Given the, the limited amount of space you have on a dating profile, you should stick to, like, real selling points. Like, you're trying to put the best version of yourself out there. Yeah. And it's, you'll just see ones like that. Or it was like, uh, I had one that was like a shower thought I recently had. I don't think. <laughs> like, okay. <laughs> no shit. Have you seen your wardrobe? Right, I'm going to do, I'm going to do something random. Okay. See, I have on hinge right now. I'm just scrolling through prompts. a bunch of yes. prompts. Yeah. So many. Tell me when to stop and I'll put my finger on one and you have, I'll tell you the prompt and you have to say what you would put. Oh God. Okay. Ready? So tell me when. Go. Two truths and a lie. Oh, Jesus. I'm so bad at this because I'm not interesting. Uh, okay. Two truths and a lie. Let's see. Um, what you got? Okay. Um, I have... I have performed in front of more than 300 people. I... Is that a porn joke? <laughs> <laughs> That's uh, a selling point. I have. <laughs> What's weird about this is that it's hard to think of truths and lies. I lie every. I lie every day. <laughs> um, I have been to two countries other than the U.S. Mm. and I have been in the same room as a. U.S. president. I'm gonna guess the last one is a lie. No. Oh, second one's a lie. Yes. I've okay. Only, I've only been to Canada. 
So you hung out with um, uh, Jimmy Carter when <laughs> you know he's still alive. I would love to hang out with Jimmy Carter, actually. <laughs> that was my favorite. Is just randomly <laughs> when we went to go see Cocaine Bear right before the movie started. You're like, I gotta check my phone if Jimmy Carter's still alive. <laughs> yeah, because there was one day when like I mentioned him out of the blue, and Michael was like, "Uh, he he might not be doing so well because he had like a health scare, but he was fine." But that wouldn't have been the first time that me mentioning a celebrity out of the blue and then they die the next day. That's happened. It's happened to me times. three times. Um, the first one, the guest on my show yesterday, uh, Chris and I, we just randomly goofed and we're like, "Is Wilfred Brimley still alive?" And we just kept joking and we was like, "How does this, a man with that much diabetes like <laughs> get off his fat ass or something Jesus. like that?" Jesus. <laughs> Like a week later, because we kept joking about it, and a week later he died. Oh man, yeah, no, I have. Um, oh, so you had two more. What were the other ones? Uh, Cloris Leachman. Okay. Died like shortly around that time as well, and I think I want to say it was Norm Macdonald was the other one. Huh. The ones I remember, it's it's so funny because it's like you you'll mention a person out of nowhere, and then it, like. I randomly one day for no reason just thought about the video of Gilbert Gottfried reading mm-hmm. Fifty Shades of Grey and sent that to someone and the next day he died. And then there was one day I was at the gym listening to Depeche Mode and mm-hmm. later that exact same day it broke that Andy Fletcher, their keyboardist, died. So you just reminded me of two completely random things. One's a question. Well, both of them are questions. Can you do a Gilbert Gottfried impression? Oh boy. I used to be able to do a good one. I Let me tell you about these women on a hinge. <laughs> no, no effort, no thought put into these profiles. Just a bunch of random bullshit. That was good. The the audio levels probably just peaked through the fucking roof too. <laughs> See, I'm a guy of simpler taste. I remember when men had to leave their house to get laid. <laughs> That's my Gilbert God. That's good. Oh my god. Um, and second one, you said Depeche Mode. This is just from my. I don't know. Did you know? Because I didn't know this until like a week ago. Joe Pesci has an album. Yeah, I think I've heard this before. I never noticed this, and it's so. It, it's a spoof album, but it's so. He is a horrible singer. <laughs> I mean, who would have thought? But it's so funny. <laughs> no, that just reminded me. I think I was, I've heard it mentioned, but I've never actually listened to it. It's weird because like his most famous song is called like Wise Guys or something. Hmm. And it's also a parody of the Mr. Rogers theme. <laughs> like it's like a wonderful day in the neighborhood for a drive by. <laughs> <laughs> it's fantastic. I love it. Jesus. Listen, Joe Pesci is a, a national treasure. And his most underrated movie that he's in is Easy Money with Rodney Dangerfield. I have not seen it. It's so, it's so. I just love this one moment where um, he's dreading his mother-in-law coming, so he's waiting for Nikki, which is Joe Pesci, and he hears the doorbell like Nikki, just in time. You know, I don't want to see your fucking mother. <laughs> and he just opens the door, and, it's like right there. and the wife's like, "Is Nikki here?" Uh, no, no, no. <laughs> uh, add that to the list. Yeah. What's what's the next movie you're gonna watch? You think? Oh man, um, I really am curious to see Babylon with what you've said about it. it. And I, I remember seeing a trailer and thinking it looked awesome. Here's so. the thing, like the the first hour, forty five minutes, I should say, is like the most high octane energy thing I've ever seen in a movie, and I fucking love it. The rest of it is very good, hmm. but. There is nothing like the like the house party scene. Is there like just a clear turning point where it just kind of? It's not a cl- not really. It's just it to me. It never reaches that level of energy again. Right. Which I'm like, okay, you set this up. Like I'll say, this, there's two things that happen at the very beginning, which if you don't like weird things in movies, you're gonna be like, what the fuck? Why is oh, this in boy. the movie? Because they don't <laughs> need it. Do you want me to tell you? Or do you want to wait? Uh, I'll, I'll see if I can guess what it is after I watch it. Okay. Well, you'll know. I'm sure <laughs> I will. You will definitely know. Um, what was the one I wanted to watch? Or I just watched? Oh, fuck. What was I don't remember. I rewatched. I rewatched Goodfellas again. Oh, yeah? It's so fucking good. I haven't good. seen that in years. It's so good. And that I want to get that record. Hmm. But it's like it's like $40. And I don't, I don't think I want to spend $40 on that. Yeah, that's the the curse of collecting music like Alex does. Yeah, 
No, I, I mean, I, I like collecting movies still, but even then, I, I've slowed down on it. Yeah. Like, a lot of people don't... It's weird, because you like records, right? I mean, I like the idea of them. Okay, I, would, I wouldn't become a collector, collector unless I, like, had the money for it. I get that. But I think one day I'd like to have a collection of just, like, my absolute favorite albums just on vinyl to have and look at. <clears throat> that makes sense. All right. Now for a quick segment. Because okay. we're a half hour in. All right. I said that exactly at a half hour. I'm proud Ooh, of myself. look at that. Dude. <laughs> I'm taking a sip of this Coca-Cola. I, I will too. This 100% cherry. recycled bottle. I'm not going to recycle it. <laughs> if you've seen my recycling video, you know. <laughs> All right. This is a segment that is called The Careless Ginger. Oh, boy. Where you have the chance to ask me any question ever. But you have 30 seconds to do. Go. Oh, my God. 30 uh, seconds to come up with any single question that you could possibly imagine. Any single question. Oh, Jesus. I'm not good at this. Uh, I am an, I am an intriguing individual. And I, I want to share, but I'm not going to willingly give it up. I'm going to give you an opportunity. 15 seconds. Okay. Uh, what you well, got? We went to high school together, so I, I want it to be something about that. Okay. Uh, without giving their name, who was your least favorite person at our school? Without saying their name, just like describe hmm. them if you can, and I'll see if I In can... my grade? Anyone. Anyone. Okay. Um... <laughs> I'll, I'll just see if I know who you're talking about. Here, hold on. Because we had a small school. It was. You want to write not... it down? Here. Oh, okay, sure. Here, hold on. Write Do it on here. Way. Write it now or after. Just, you... just write like if you think you know what it is. Just write. Just write down a name. I'm curious. I'm not. I'm not sure. You, I, I actually, yeah. I do know one. I. <laughs> I feel like you know one of them. I, I think you've mentioned this before, but yes, d- describe them and we'll see if. As soon as I say it, it's gonna be <laughs> only child. Yep. 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 <laughs> Yep. <laughs> yep, that that's the one. That's all that's all I needed. No. <laughs> I yeah, no. Don't don't like him. Don't like him. And I like that that's broad enough that anyone that did go to high school with us oh, won't they even know. have a clue. They're in, they were in your grade. <laughs> the one yeah, grade above me. Mm. But I'm in pe- people in my grade. Um I don't know if you ever saw it, but my uh my co-star in the short film I had to do for environmental science that I called Almost Naked and Afraid because it was How to Survive in the Adirondacks. Mm. I just thought that was a funny title. Um, This is a guy that you very much hate as well Mm. uh, that you had a gym class with. Mm -hmm. You know who I'm talking about. I do. Yes. Okay. Yes. Yeah, there were some annoying people in your class that I recall. Yeah. I don't, I don't like a lot. I don't like a lot of people that I went to school with though. I only have, I, I can count on like one hand the amount of people from high school I still talk to. Yeah. I, I, Sam, I think there's some that every now and again I'll reach, like they'll reach out to me or I'll reach out to them, but it's very rare. Mm. So Occasionally I'll, I'll see one somewhere, but that's rare. Yeah. And even then some of them that even I went to school with, I'll just kind of be like, the, I'll just kind of give like the nod. I won't mm. strike up a conversation or anything. Yeah. I mean, cause I, I, I didn't talk to them that much. Most of them in high school. So yeah. why would I start now? So I actually have a question for you cause okay. I did not know this. So we went to high school together. You were great above me. Mm-hmm. Um, you went to Fredonia for one singular semester. Yes. But that was your first semester of college. Yes. Right? And then St. Rose. No, I, I did. I came back to our school, mm-hmm. uh, and then I after I graduated from there, I went to St. Rose. Okay, and then and then back. Yeah. Okay, because I started our school at um, summer or er, fall of twenty nineteen, mm-hmm. and then when our twenty twenty COVID happened, everything went online, and you and I were both broadcasting majors, and I did not want to do it online. Right. So. For the longest time, I always knew you as Gary Rounds. Mm-hmm. When I came back, everyone was calling you Trig Scott, and I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, what the fuck did I miss? <laughs> How did that happen? It was literally just when I started my show on the college radio station. I wanted like a catchier radio name, and I so I adapted Trig Scott from Tristan Gary Scott, which is the name I had always. So uh, just keep making up new names. <laughs> that was the name I had started doing like creative writing stuff with, and like uh, some. It later became for like my film projects too. Mm-hmm. So I shortened that to be Trig Scott, 
because that felt like a nice, quick one-two punch radio name. Mm -hmm. And then, so I, I basically just came up with it myself, this radio name, and then it very quickly caught on when people started actually calling me that. So I just stuck okay. with it. Because I legitimately was so fucking confused. Cause I've, I've known you longer than all the other people. Yeah. But then I came back and they're like, hey, Trig. I'm like, who? <laughs> I had no idea. I was so confused. So I just kind of caught on. But yeah, I always wanted that and I never asked you that. Yeah, no. It just yeah. totally came up with it myself from my radio show and it stuck. Interesting. What was your biggest regret at this school? This past year? You can name the past two oh, semesters. in the last year? Yeah. Um, What's been your biggest regret? I, re <laughs> I really regret not thinking of a better idea for my short film. Uh, I thought it, I th I thought it was a very good idea. The problem was that it had to be cut down. Yeah, you had to cut it down to ten minutes. Yeah, because I mean, it was already as it was. Like my short film was meant to be kind of scattered, like pieces of it missing, and kind of like a David Lynch storytelling idea. But having to cut even more of it made it even more confusing, which. Either way, by the time I had spent hours and hours editing it, I just hated it. But yeah, um, there's there's not many of my projects that I can look back on. Yeah, there's only a few for me too. The only ones that I that I like, I like the f the first minute and the last minute of my autobiography, mm. and I liked being in your shot by shot. Yeah, that when was fun. we recreated Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. Yeah, I thought that was fun. Yeah, but, it was... But otherwise, like, I had problems. Oh, and I love my Stallone contest. Mm. That was good. Yeah. I don't know why that idea just came to me so easily. But my favorite thing about that is the teacher, as soon as he finishes, like, the amount of, like, effort you put into making this, the amount of it's research good. you did. And I'm like, I just knew all that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I feel no. like maybe, maybe in a year I'll look back on my unhinged videos and be like, what was I doing? But so, right now, I think it's funny. So I want to also, because I, I don't like just saying inside jokes on my show. I like to explain them. Because I, I was thinking about this, and I think we should do this almost every year. We did an award show mm -hmm. called The Premies. Mm -hmm. <laughs> because someone, if you saw my autobiography, I had to throw a football at a baby. A and baby doll. A baby doll. <laughs> And one of our classmates was like, why couldn't you just snatch a preemie or something? <laughs> Referring to premature children. Yes, which I had never heard before, so I thought he came up with yeah, that. Yeah, so did I. But it's a real term. I've been saying it now, like, almost daily. Yeah. It's, <laughs> it's, like, so many of his uh, terminology has just worked its way into my at least weekly vocabulary. Oh, not yeah. Daily. I, there's many. And when, when I see him in a few weeks, I want to get him on my show. For sure. I but, would love to hear that. But... I think, even if it's on a Discord, we should try to actually, like, keep... We should do the awards every year. I think that's a good idea, actually. And I think, like, they should be filmed. And I think, now that we learned from our last one, mm. we should actually upload the, the future ones. Yeah, I think so. I think they could be kind of funny. Mm -hmm. But I think we have to come up with... It can't be the same, like, right. awards. Because like, I, I did have a few people watch the video of the one we did. And while I, I think it's the most entertaining, if you know everybody personally, I do think it's still funny for people that have no... Like, the, oh, the, the friends I have that watched it still loved it, even though they only knew me. Yeah. So. But you want to read out some of the awards that we named to all of our friends? Sure. <laughs> because I can tell you my personal favorite one was... Uh, most politically incorrect <laughs> and it was just because the guy who won it just instantly goes oh shit <laughs> right after that <laughs> it's um, so good so this is why this is why we have to upload them every year yeah so we, we had a couple that were like normal like it, it was meant to be like you know high school superlative kind of things so there was a few that were normal like best hair and then that was actually probably like, we had like silliest guy slash gal, so like kind of tame ones. But and then that. you have like a little, a little more specific, most likely to break down at the slightest inconvenience, most likely to get the group kicked out of a public place, least favorable toward women. <laughs> Which the teacher won that one. <laughs> most likely to cook meth and run a drug empire out of our school. <laughs> most fearful of the LGBTQ plus community. <laughs> 
uh, this is this is one of my favorites because we there's a few of them we were like, huh, who do we give this to? And some others that were we wrote them specifically for a certain person. Well, I think the most obvious one is most likely to score five touchdowns in a yes. single game. Another one was most likely to vanish from the face of the earth only to reappear years later on the news for some crazy shit. Yeah. Like, we knew who that was going to. Yeah. Uh, what's another <laughs> You won one? most likely to rival the teacher's gambling addiction. I sure did. I just, I can't quit it. <laughs> no. It's, it's easier to quit Hinge. I mean, yeah, you could even argue there's a gambling element to that. I mean, dating apps are an addiction. Uh, it probably could become one. Yeah. No, I, I, think, I think it def- I mean, there's many things that could be considered an, an addiction. It's true. Like, I'm the bang master. How do you think I got that name? <laughs> Not by fucking. <laughs> I got it because I, I slurped the drink. The energy drink. Slurp. <laughs> Here's... I, I just... I have another hinge prompt that uh, this one... It's a random fact I love. And she says, Bud Light is just the lighter version of Budweiser. Don't even say you've known this. Their marketing is just too good. And oh, fuck. Uh, I did know that. I've never drank a beer in my goddamn life, but I, it's not hard to tell Bud Light, Budweiser are the same thing. Is there a reason you don't drink? Or I just, just never just really never got really into it. To. Yeah, it's never never been uh, much of an so interest. I gotta me. I gotta show you this one. It, it's a picture, so you can't see it, but I'll describe it after you look at it because this is her during Fashion Week. Oh my god. <laughs> it's a photo of her with a bush light box over her head at a party. Why not? Why not? L'chaim. But I, I, I don't know I don't find I don't find the whole party scene that appealing. I never have. I like a group of friends just hanging out, ch- chill. Yeah. Like game night kind of thing. Like I if if there is more than I'll be generous and say, like, a dozen people pres- present. Mm-hmm. It's Because, like, I've had groups of friends where we'd all get together and there'd be... I mean, even us, we have such a large group of friends that we we went to bowling into the movies with, like, ten people one time. So, it's a good amount. But yeah. when you start getting higher into... Like, I was at a... Uh, actually, a couple, a couple years I've had Thanksgiving gatherings mm-hmm. with close to or upwards of 20 people. And by that point, it's like you end up with eight different smaller conversations going on. Yeah. And it's it's like, so hard to focus. It's hard to talk to any, like yeah. everyone. You kind of have to just talk to who's next to you. And then. Like when I was at the Father's Day brunch thing, you know, as the only man that wasn't a father there, um, there were, and it was only seven or eight people and four conversations going on. And I'm yeah. sitting there because I, I haven't slept in two days. <laughs> so I'm sitting there barely able to keep my eyes open. I'm like, can I just get a mimosa? <laughs> And like I don't like even that small of a group. I don't get it. But the day before yesterday, I had to go to my cousin's graduation party, and even that it's one of those things to where I think as I get older, I I don't hate going to like like the family whatevers anymore. Mm. Like as a kid, I hated them. Same. <laughs> like I I just I hated the obligate. I always hate things that I'm obligated to do. Right. Like, that's why I said this year to my family, I said, I am not celebrating Christmas. I said, if you get me a gift, I am not going to open it and I will throw it away. Jesus. I am not, I refuse that just this one year I said, I need a, I need a break. Yeah. I don't mind like going over to someone's house, having like a party or whatnot, but I'm not getting gifts. Yeah. When I was younger, (laughs) I definitely didn't want to do uh, anything ever, but as as I got (laughs) older, I started appreciating like time with my family more Yeah, because they are, they are fun people. We, we have fun game nights and, and the like, so uh, but holidays too are a thing I never really subscribe to. No, I, I don't mind like, I don't like having like a, okay, you know, Thanksgiving starts at two o'clock because for some reason Thanksgiving has to start in the afternoon instead of night. Why not? But like, if it's like, hey, you know, we're going to be cooking all day, show up when you'd like. Yeah. That's more fun because you don't have to get there at a certain time. You don't have to see the people that you know you're going to hate. You can leave <laughs> at a, you can leave at a reasonable time. You can just grab a turkey leg and say, peace, bitches. I feel like every family has the one person in it who's like, I wouldn't say hate, but is, is the one that people are always a, at least a little uncomfortable around. Oh, yeah. I'm that guy. <laughs> I'm actually not surprised to hear you say that. No, I I, I've, I know this. It, it's weird. I mean, not with you because not, we're still friends, but like people that I like went to high school with or my family, 
I it's so weird because I always try to be funny, mm. and I could do that around like all of our friends. I can't do it around my family or my friends. I <clears throat> actually kind of understand where you're coming from because I I remember um, there's been a couple times where it, it's like the the friend group that we had from school like opened me up socially in a way that I never had been. High so, like, school or college? college. Okay. Uh, so I, I started just in our friend group at school, I would just make these like stupid jokes that I know aren't funny, but I would say dumb shit. And yeah. then like I, uh, around other people, like my family, I would have kind of the same energy and I would say something stupid and they'd be like, what are you, that wasn't funny. Why yeah. would you? <laughs> like, no, I, I get like, and even at work, I can be on fire. Mm. at work but i remember one time it was actually i think the day after christmas i was working and this is a few years ago uh, a few of my cousins were in town and they were like hey you know we've been playing like board games you know when you get done work i was getting done at nine o'clock it's like hey you know just come up and we'll play i'm like okay whatever and i was like i i wanted to see my family but i was like i just know i'm gonna be like quiet the whole time yeah. and i said like i have to be if I'm not funny within the first five minutes, I'm going to be off the whole night. If I can find my footing early on, yeah. I'm good. And thank Christ I did. Oh, boy. I had, I, I'll never forget it because then the rest of the night I was on fire. But, well, they were also drinking, so it was easier. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> but I'm actually proud of this one. Um, so I don't know why. I was just driving up being like, okay, you know, okay, what's a, what's a, what's a knee slapper I can come up with? I'm just like casual. I'm just taking note of anything. I'm like just looking at everything. You know, I see a dead end sign on the road, whatever. I see a stop sign, whatever. I'm just driving. I'm thinking of anything. Mm. And I get there and, you know, they're like, oh, Merry Christmas, yada, yada, yada. It was only like, it was less than 10 people. And someone says, oh, yeah, your aunt's got some bad news. She took one of those Buzz, the, what was it, Buzz Sprout? Are the, is that the website? BuzzFeed? Oh, BuzzFeed, yeah. Yeah, a Buzzsprout is what I upload the show on. Um, but she's like, oh, yeah, she took a quiz. Yeah, it's not looking good for her. She might die in the next <laughs> year. And I just go, what's the problem, Paul? You've been living on a dead-end road for years. <laughs> 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 so, so I'm proud of that one. And so, like, if I can find my footing... I'm good. Yeah. But if not, I just like, I like shut down completely. Yeah. A lot of the times that I like saying stupid stuff, just like, I think the, the most disappointed someone has ever been in me for making a joke. <laughs> I was in the car with one of my past girlfriends. We were driving somewhere. The one you converted to gay? No. Okay. <laughs> the she, one who stabbed you? That was the same one, but no. Oh, uh, okay. So, uh, okay, yeah, so she my... was into scissoring, but not in the traditional <laughs> way. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my relationship history is weird. So this one girlfriend were driving somewhere, and she pointed out a place. I think it was like a coffee shop. She's like, oh, this place on the left is really, really good. And I said, my left or your left. And <laughs> she, like, I was driving, so I didn't want to, like, look away from the road, but I could just feel... The disappointed <laughs> look as she just slowly turned to me like, what the fuck was that for? <laughs> well, that's like if I'm, I mean, I'm always tired because I have bad insomnia, which hopefully in two weeks will be fixed because I have a doctor's appointment finally. Hell yeah. But whenever I'm either sleep deprived, not like the way I am now, but like if I'm starting to get on, if I start to get tired, I'll get like miserable, then I'll get weird. Mm. And then it kind of just goes back and forth. But if I'm in that weird, if I'm in that weird section and I have a little bit to drink, then it's then it turns out pretty good. Because my one of my jokes that I'll still stand by, I wrote it down. I love both of them. Uh, it was you, me, and our friend in the car. Um, we were just leaving. Oh we were, yeah, we were just leaving yeah, I know where, we, where we ate. <laughs> And I just because you know you love elderly women. Oh well, that's you love you love you love pockets of dust. Might be an exaggeration. Spring cleaning has a new meaning in my house. <laughs> um, <laughs> but I just go look, Gary Cougars, and you roll down your window where, and I go, hey ladies, you ever see a guy with this much hair? <laughs> yes. And our friend, because this was the night he had too much to drink, right? Yeah. Okay. And he just started going on. I was like, okay, so you guys asked what I would name my daughter and nobody asked him. 
<laughs> like she was like, well, I think I would name her Amanda because I don't. I'm not saying like Mandy or anything. I yeah, honestly, like I would never want anyone to call her Mandy. But and honestly, Mandy. I wasn't even listening to the rest. I was just waiting for him to get done because as soon as he did, I just go. And the great thing is, if she if she decides to have a sex change, she could be a man. Duh. <laughs> <laughs> So that's the power of the alcohol. Road. <laughs> that's the power of alcohol. And well, in the flip side of that coin is the power of alcohol. Um, our friend, ten minutes later, collapsed on the ground and oh, spent yeah. fourteen hundred dollars at the ER. Well, you know, sometimes shit just happens. All G. <laughs> All G. Well, it is what it is. That's my goal. Is I want to get everyone from our grade on my show. I want to. I, I think that's a good show. idea because I our our group from school has. So many different unique personalities mm-hmm. that it's it's what made yeah. the entire experience of it fun. I, I said it on my radio show where I think if you take even one of us out, it doesn't really work. Yeah, like you need the whole the synergy of it. Yeah. Of all of us together is like just a really cool so, thing. So so all you champs out there, you know you know who you are. Mm. Um, <laughs> You want to come on the show, just hit me up. And I want to propose this to you because this was something um, during the broadcast club. uh, The teacher was thinking of, you know, what events could we do? And I proposed something. Everyone except him loved it. (laughs) So I'm proposing this by the end of summer. And I'll be the guy if you want. We'll have to just get some cameras. What if we do a roast? I think that is a fantastic (laughs) idea. So I think this is what we need to do. By like... August or something like when strays come out when strays comes mm. out we'll, we'll go see that movie and then we'll do a roast of me <laughs> I think we should do like a roast of everybody I and mean I guess I guess you'd have to make sure who's good with that because like I well, don't said, give a I'm fuck I'm okay with yeah, this <laughs> I, I do not I've been made fun of enough in my time that it does not hurt me anymore we should assign someone to roast someone oh that's a good idea like just randomly draw it out of the hat <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we've been going on for almost 52 minutes, so I got two segments left, and then we'll end the show. Okay. And I hope that you'll come back on my show again. Oh, of course. You're an awesome guest. But you have the chance to win some money, Gary. Do I? Is it a bag of quarters? It is not a bag of quarters, and it's also not $50, because I found out that I couldn't afford a whiskey by the end of the night. (laughs) All right. There's many things that I am, but selfish is one of them. Thanks. Um... So, you have the chance to win $10. Okay. But it's a question about me. Okay. All right. You're going to have a minute to answer this. All right. How many dates have I been on that I saw to the end of the date? That I actually finished? Okay. One minute. Um, and I have, I have it written down right okay. here, so I'm not, I'm not cheating or anything. Do I get more than one guess? If... If you want another guess, you can get two, but I'm going to deduce it to $5. Okay. Um, because as we all know, I can turn any woman into a water slide, but sometimes <laughs> sometimes I don't want to go down. Dates that you actually went on the, and saw but to, I But I to finished the, the date. Yes. My first knee-jerk response, my first guess, I'm going to say three. Incorrect. <sighs> Would you like another guess? But you only get one more. Is it at least close to that? Yeah. Okay. Uh, okay. How do you define close? Within, like... Well, obviously, if it's lower, it can't be within that many. But it like is it higher or lower? Can you tell me that? Or is that going to give it away? Lower. Is it two? Do you want to read it? Because I, I was going to say two if... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you <laughs> zero. zero zero wow zero <laughs> i have never finished a date really no I, th- I thought there was that one girl you went on like two full dates with no at least no no i said i at that point i said i went on two dates not with the same girl oh but i never finished them what what did you find as, what do you define as finishing a date that i don't abandon them <laughs> <laughs> that i don't that i okay you know how you traditionally say goodbye. I have not. 
<laughs> an Irish goodbye, if you will. What's that? An Irish goodbye. If you an will. Irish goodbye. Yeah. Yes. No wonder my teacher hates me. But it's so funny because I, I saw a prompt on Hinge one day that was like my biggest date fail. And she was like, this guy took me to the movies, bought my ticket and everything, and then just went to the bathroom and never came back. Probably talking and then, about me. Yeah, you told me you did the same thing. <laughs> well, I'll tell you what. It could have changed if, you know, this girl didn't have an enormous branch up her twat when she listened to <laughs> when she listened to my show and then ghosted oh, me because boy. she couldn't take a fucking joke. <laughs> Jesus. Look, she's... Because I did... Okay, I'll give you two examples. One, I never had a chance with this hot chick, but I showed a hot chick this... I think it was my third video or my third podcast episode was like things you never say to a woman. Mm. They were so over-exaggerated. Of course nobody in their right mind would ever fucking say it. Yes. That was the joke. She thought it was funny. She was out of my league, but whatever. But the other girl that I was talking to, she heard that one mm. and said, why would you ever say that? And I'm like, oh my God, why didn't your father pull out? Oof. Um, but <laughs> Jesus. All right. So now it is time for what I call the Ranting Redhead Rapid Questions. Oh boy. I have many different questions written down. Here. Okay. You have three minutes. I'm going to go through as many as possible. You can take as long as you would like, but three minutes on the clock. Okay. Rapid fire questions. Are you ready, Trig Scott from the radio? I'm not the best at improv, but we'll see. Just answer honestly. Okay. All right, ready? Set. Go. Take three items to a desert island. What do you take? My anything that can play music. Um, uh, do I have power? <laughs> like electricity? Sure. Well, in this hypothetical world, yeah. Fine. I, I bring my, like, computer and microphone. I don't know. Okay. You don't bring a sex doll? Uh, <laughs> who do you hate more, preemies or the elderly? Preemies. Do you know what old Jack Burton always says at a time like this? What the hell? Best Rocky sequel. Haven't seen any of them. Oh, put a pin in that. Uh, <laughs> have you ever scored four touchdowns in a single game? Not even close. John Wick versus John Rambo. I gotta see Rambo too. I do like John Wick, but I don't. It's not as uh, I'm not obsessed with it like some people are. Uh huh. Is Die Hard a Christmas movie? Yes. Best sandwich. Chicken salad. Okay. <laughs> Worst Christmas gift you've ever received. Worst. Oh man, I don't. Uh, there was a point in time when I hated Christmas so much that any gift would have been pretty rough. So I mean, <laughs> I'll fair. just say that one or one minute in. Least favorite trend. Oh, Ever. Definitely some of the slang terms that people our age use. We'll go uh, with Riz. What Riz? Oh my god. <laughs> Ever receive a lap dance? Actually, yes. Oh! What's more important, looks or personality? Personality. Best birthday you've ever had? What age? Uh. 21. George Carlin or Richard Pryor? George Carlin. Chicken or steak? Steak. Uh, 90 seconds left. Bang or Red Bull? Neither. Ever been pulled over for speeding? Nope. Worst drink? Worst, oh, um... Anything. I definitely tried some kind of whiskey once that was just god-awful. Okay. What's the movie you've seen the most? Ooh, um... The... It's probably either Baby Driver or The First Kingsman. Okay. Are two that I definitely know I've seen quite a few times. I'm gonna skip this one. Uh, ever been... Ever punched a wall? No. One minute left. Uh, how many preemies do you want? <laughs> None. How much money would it take to get you off social media permanently? Not much. <laughs> like <laughs> best pizza topping. Uh, barbecue chicken. Boneless or bone-in wings. Boneless. What song describes your sex life? What song title? Oh, Jesus. Uh. Oh God, I wasn't prepared for that. <laughs> um. Thirty seconds. The great nothing. <laughs> if you could see any band in their prime, who are you seeing? Radiohead. Worst name. Worst name? Uh, <laughs> Riker. <laughs> Riker. <laughs> Worst name. Or, I'm sorry. Uh, highest bowling score. I don't even remember, but it wasn't good. Uh, oldest age you date now? 34. Buried or cremated? Cremated. Biggest celebrity crush. 10 seconds. Um, it, that one sucks. Uh, God, I don't know. Are you polite to women? Yes. Last question. Uh, you're you're in a high speed pursuit. What song do you play? <laughs> I mentioned Baby Driver already, so I'll say Bell Bottoms. Bell Bottoms. And with that, that has been Trig Scott from the yes. radio. Okay. I said put a pin in Rocky. Okay. I do need to see those. I know. You need to see those, of course, and you got to have me over when you watch them. But I I, I swear this is true. 
There is a... And I'm not making this up. It's just that, look, my looks look long gone. But if I had the slightest amount of good looks, I'd be rolling in it for one reason. A lot of women love the Rocky movies, I have to say. Really? I swear, I don't get it. But it, huh. but it's true. I have noticed this with a lot of... If, the, if a woman has seen Rocky, like around our age... They fucking love that movie. Interesting. Okay. I mean, it, the first one is definitely a love story. And I'm sorry, and I have seen this. There are many hot chicks that love Rocky IV. Okay. And there is nothing better in life. Well, I will uh, reserve that for if if a future girlfriend hasn't seen it, I'll just pull that one out. And, you know, uh... <laughs> pun no intended. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm going to say this. You know what's great? If a woman says they love Rocky IV, you know... That they're awesome, but they're also dumb. Oh Jesus! <laughs> Look, Rocky Four is a great movie, but it's also not. It's like it's the <laughs> it's the Roadhouse of Rocky movies. Oh okay, okay. But it's awesome. Gotcha. So that's that's how you get women. Oh okay, that's how. Lie and, <laughs> and watch Rocky. Yeah, I don't belong on a dating app, do I? Jesus. I'm just saying, watch Rocky. Men, I got. I do. Men have to love watch it. it. Yeah. Women love it. I think I'm wearing a Rocky shirt. He is. I am. That's true. I, I always am. Confirmed. Yeah. So, women were, yeah. Anyway, this has been another episode of The Ranting Redhead Trig. Thank you so much for showing Thank up. Thank you for having me on. This Absolutely. was fun. Yeah, have to do it again sometime. And do you have any parting words? I actually, I do have one final hinge prompt that I thought you would enjoy. <laughs> okay. I had a lot planned. Uh, I'll have to save some for the videos. But this, this one I thought would be a good one to end on. It's another a random fact I love. Mm-hmm. And uh, this woman says, this is, this is actually like a fun fact you might not have known. A prostitute avoided a death sentence by showing the court her breasts and arguing that it would be a crime against the gods to destroy such beauty. <laughs> well, sure. <laughs> couldn't they get a hotter chick? <laughs> they don't get hot enough <laughs> girls for this anymore. What was it? Okay, I, I have a quick, I just have a quick question. Because I... And I know she's listening. There was a girl that I worked with. Mm-hmm. She's married, but her husband was in the military. And she says that if you are married, watching porn is cheating. What do you think? Because uh, I said it's not. I do not agree with that. No. Okay, thank you. So we're smart. You need to change your mind. You know who you are. <laughs> I'll tell you who she was after. Anyway, Jeez. thank you all so much for listening, champs. It's Woo! been a, it's been a pleasure. Couldn't do it without you. <laughs>